Hey guys, Silence here here. Welcome to a very first large monthly unboxing that I'll be doing for my channel. Um, what gave me the idea? Mainly because, well, I haven't been having a lot of free time to open up my own personal purchases and all that kind of stuff. So it started to power up and I decided, hey, why not just do an unboxing video to show you guys what I got within the month itself. And, uh... Yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the stuff that I purchased because I'm definitely looking forward to all the um, all these items that I've purchased for myself. And hopefully you guys um, might like to see an unboxing of each of the items personally. Um, mainly because you guys want to see how the conditions of the items are. And maybe if you want to purchase them for yourself in the future because you don't really know um, what to expect from getting the item um, on hand or maybe because you want to see how the quality is like of the items before deciding to actually purchase them even though they have passed their pre-order dates um, maybe because you don't have enough money at the point of time and you're considering whether to get them um, later on in life uh, so well let me know in the comments down below uh, you know at each of the intervals of um, whatever item I pull out from my piles of <laughs> stuff that I got so okay so like you see in the title um, for this video the items that I'm opening are all ordered um, or rather they are all released uh, and received during the month of September so um, next month I will be unboxing stuff that I got within the month of October um, then of course for, for so on so forth uh, you know so that's how things are going to work with this particular unboxing style so let's go with the smallest packaging so um i think most of you guys probably know um by now i'm pretty big fan of macross uh considering that i've got like over, over 200 episodes of uta macross on my channel so that's kind of plain to see but i think there are a lot of people who don't really know that i have other franchises or series uh, animation series cartoons um live action whatever that i'm i'm pretty big fans of as well but anyways this is related to macross in general uh kind of and maybe not at the same time because well this um this small package is something very very new um, that belongs to one of the Macross artists um, and well she she kind of does her own music label already uh, with all that said I think if you guys are fans of the Macross series you might probably know who I'm talking about already although there are a lot of um, female Macross artists who have already gone solo instead of working with a music company <laughs> um, and most of the Macross or rather all of the Macross artists who are still currently in the uh, mainstream media uh, they are still under the Victor Entertainment um, publishing and all that kind of stuff so wow she really got this pack um, tight so I guess I probably have to cut things up so let's do this hopefully I don't cut anything special that she might have packed along um, all right so who does this belong to well let me just take things out okay so if you guys are fans of the first generation Macross series yes if I say first generation you only have one artist in mind um, from SDF Macross or if you guys are in America you probably know her from Robotech <laughs> which I shall not mention anyway anymore so this belongs to Mari Ijima who plays the character Lin Min Mei in SDF Macross so this is her brand new single so she even signed the copy for me so there we go so to Wenti Mari Ijima very lovely so here she is at the back sorry for the the camera lights going in the way so let me just let me see if I can there we go um, I'm still trying to figure out how to play around with this camera so <laughs> so here we go so there is the whole track listing um, for her down here I don't know what if you can see it let me see if I can show it to you guys there we go 
So the whole track listing for her. Here we go. So yeah, so this is her new single called G. Um, pretty fantastic stuff then. Um, as you can tell, it doesn't come with a CD casing because um, she's now a, um, I would say, a individual artist or producing everything by herself. Even this cover art and all this stuff is all produced by her. So it, it opens up. So we have, I think, lyrics and all this. And of course, the CD is in the pocket slot here. So pretty fantastic stuff. So here we go. Mari Jimas CD. All right. So pretty lovely stuff. Um, I actually got not just this single. Um, this is her latest one. I even got one that is very, very old. I think it's old. Um, yeah, let me just keep this aside. Precious stuff. Um, this one is more related to her um, Macross period, I guess. So this one is Dancing with Lin Min Mei. Yeah. So pretty, pretty nice. And it's also signed. Um, let me just show you guys. So it's, it's signed as well. So to Wen Qi. Yeah. Pretty nice. So um, then this one has mm, songs from SDF era. So it's My Boyfriend is a Pilot, that kind of stuff. Then Zero G Love, so on and so forth. So yeah, okay. So that aside, I think she gave me, oh, she gave me Prince as well. So pretty lovely. So I guess, um, there we go. So if you guys don't know, Mari is also a ballet dancer, so this is one of her recent prints. This one comes with her G single, and I guess this one comes with her dancing with Min Mei. So pretty nice, considering this. These are all hand signed, hand signed by Mari, Mari Sama. So oh god. So I apologize for. Um, the camera angle because I'm still trying to figure things out how reverse <laughs> viewing is. Alright, so let's move on. So this is another series that I I am a big, big fan of. Um, and uh, you guys who know me personally would probably know um, what series this is. I have only a few series that I'm extremely, extremely a big fan of that I've been collecting them since you know my childhood days um and yes this is actually one of the latest graphic novels um for that series so here we go let me toss out the packaging this is ghostbusters from idw comics um apparently it's the 35th anniversary comic edition so there we go it's got the 35th in slime with the no ghost logo then of course you have the four generations of ghostbusters from the extreme the idw comics version of the original ghostbusters then you've got the real ghostbusters and of course you've got the 2016 ghostbusters which i absolutely dis Gusted by so, <laughs> um, if it wasn't for the rest of the other three, I wouldn't really bother with the comics. Um, then of course, you know the the quality of the comics, American comics, fantastic, fantastic stuff. So the quality paper. I mean, they did. I they did release these in like um, uh, thin comic book formats. Um, then this, of course, the paperback. Oh God, the thing is damaged oh god that's like that's like a crease in this oh i don't know where you guys can see can you see that bump there oh god amazon why couldn't you have packed this in a better uh <laughs> it came in this dinky looking bubble wrap paper and of course if you and the, the the packaging is way bigger than the book itself so definitely it will get damaged oh god amazon you piece of shit <laughs> so uh yeah oh god maybe if if i if i had the money i probably might go and find a better condition version of this if not oh god this is so heartbreaking so anyways uh moving along so that's the second package that i got within um september itself um 
Yes, they are pretty old considering that they have been released for almost a month already or maybe a few weeks. Um, but yeah, I, like I said, all these stuff are like sitting around my house because <laughs> I haven't really got the time to do so. And finally, yes, I'm unboxing all of this for you guys to see at the same time while I am fanboying away. Alright, so I can't really remember what this is from or who is this from. Oh god, I think I, I, think I cut some kind of paper. Um, Hopefully it's not that important. It is red though. Oh, oh, okay. I remember what this is from. Okay, so this is from, I think France. Um, this was back in the Kingdom Hearts Orchestra period where I actually ordered this stuff. So this is the Orchestra Keyblade. Where me? Oh god, the lighting is horrible. So I probably might want to consider changing lighting for my camera, I guess, when it comes to unboxing videos. I mean, but it's pretty okay when it comes to, um, I guess, my face. Let me just brighten it up because my laptop turned off on standby mode. So, um, yeah, so Kingdom Hearts Orchestra Keyblade. So this one actually is for the, um, the two Keyblades that Sora uses. Uh, yeah, so we got the Oath Keeper and Oblivion. Then, of course, um, I also got the t shirt. Um, so, the t shirt is pretty simple. Um, let me just open this up for you guys to see. Is there anything else? I guess that's pretty much it. So, it's just a t shirt and the conductor's keyblade. Okay. So let me just toss this aside and open up the shirt so you guys can see. Now, the thing about the Kingdom Hearts t-shirt quality is um, they aren't exactly fantastic because the last one, the last one they had in Singapore, um, that shirt quality was really bad where if you didn't take care of washing it, the print will be uh, disintegrated. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, so this is the shirt design for um, the recent World of Thress um, Kingdom Hearts Orchestra. So this is pretty nice and the material is very, very soft. So fantastic, fantastic stuff. Um, good good job this time around. The print quality is uh, really different from the previous World Orchestra, um, you know. So yeah, so if you guys had ordered this, um, lucky for you. Um, the quality for this shirt is fantastic. So let's move on, I guess, to this. If I don't know, if you guys want to see these open for a personal unboxing, let me know. Uh, it's the two orchestra keyblades for Oathkeeper and Oblivion. Um, don't know where you guys can see it. There you go. You can see the description at the back. So yeah, pretty fantastic stuff. Um, let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to see this as a personal unboxing, a review of the Orchestra Keyblade. So I'm going to put this aside and we're going to move on because I'm far from <laughs> finishing. There are so many boxes. Oh God. So okay. So this one is a personal order for myself. Actually, all of them are personal orders. What am I talking about? So let's open this up and this is from Japan and uh, in fact most of my stuff are from japan so only a few things that's from america and well the kingdom hearts stuff is kind of from japan but it was not produced in japan then of course the ghostbusters comic book is definitely not from japan so that's one of the few things that i love that's not japanese <laughs> all right so moving along so i got what is this oh oh okay so um let me just take out all the tiny stuff first uh, and just show you guys what I got okay so I got this let me just grab everything out and toss the box to a corner all right so this is the Karakai Jozu Takagi Sun season 2 volume 1 blu-ray so this is the limited edition print. Um, so apparently Ami Ami had some exclusive stuff. So it came with a came with a can. It came with a can. <laughs> yes, really a can. Um, 
I have no idea what is inside. Let me just see. Um, you can actually pop it open. Um, it's not really a metal can. It's entirely plastic. So then it came with this as well. I guess it's the Ami Ami exclusive. You can see. I think there's the Ami Ami logo at the bottom there. Where is it? Uh, no, it's at the top. So yeah. Uh, hopefully you guys can see it. Ami Ami. So yeah. So this is a card holder. Now you can see it's a card holder. So it's a soft case card holder. So this this whole thing is one set by itself. So that's pretty fantastic. Um, yeah, I'm a big fan of the Takagi Sun series. Um, if you guys don't know. <laughs> so okay. Um, aside from the Takagi Sun stuff, I also I am also uh, I recently started um, collecting Dolphy stuff. Uh, ever since my trip in Japan, um, I, I really wanted to turn my Ranka Nen Droid into a Dolphy, so I got clothes. So I've got tiny shoes, and of course I got the Sailor Fuku. Pretty nice. Hopefully to have Ranka Chan wear this in the future. So my my mini one one out of twelve size. Uh, <laughs> Dolphy collection is growing <laughs> immensely. <laughs> Alright, so sorry for the squeaky chair. I've been having this chair since I moved into this place and it's starting to wear out. I really need to buy a chair. If you guys have any recommendations for a new chair, uh, I, I know there are the gaming chairs out there, uh, but those are pretty expensive and all that kind of stuff. If, if I have no choice or you can give me reasons why I should invest into one, um, that would be fantastic, you know, because I need a new chair. Uh, I, I, you've probably noticed that most of my videos sometimes you can hear my chair squeaking away so <laughs> okay so uh, along with all the Takagi Sun love we've got the OSTs um, so there's this one which is the music collection um, and of course this one has the karaoke versions you know sometimes where um, the ending song sequences they will feature the voice actress for Takagi-san um, to sing various old school popular classic Japanese songs so this CD is basically that then of course this one is all the background music so pretty fantastic stuff so this CD has like way more songs into it but they are pretty short because they're all background music so I probably might use this in the future for my videos who knows maybe even this one <laughs> uh, if you guys can recognize the song so more Taka uh, basically that whole box was Takagi Sun Love so pretty sweet okay so moving on we've got a Amazon box hmm. I kind of forgot what all these are, considering that they've been sitting there for so long. So it's kind of like a Christmas feeling for me, because I feel like a kid opening presents for myself. <laughs> I don't know, considering that I, I ordered them, but I can't really remember what they were. So, whew, very exciting. All right, so let's see what I got from Amazon that I really needed to purchase, you know, considering that Amazon ex isn't exactly very ex uh, very cheap. Oh, okay, okay. So I I, I kind of got. Wait, let me. Uh. So the thing about Amazon fantastic stuff is um they, they pack their their things or rather than Amazon Japan, um, Amazon US. Look at the Ghostbusters comic. It was horrible. Amazon US. You need to learn from Amazon Japan. Um. So yeah, my room is starting to pile up with boxes. <laughs> so what I got um from Amazon Japan. Um, it's a magazine and a game. So it's another game that I have loved to do a, you know, series play on or maybe to just do a one shot, um, that kind of stuff. But, you know, considering that the reviews for it was quite bad, but I had to support it anyways. So here we go. So let me just open this up to show you guys what it is. Uh, Okay, so first thing first. Now, if you guys are fans of Macross, you probably know this game because it is 
done by Kawamori Sama, or rather the um, the mechs were designed by Kawamori, who is the creator of Macross. So Damon X Machina. So this is the Japanese edition. Yes, the cover is very plain as compared to the other countries. Damon X Machina covers, um, and of course you can tell this is Japanese because there's a whole bunch of Japanese text at the back of it. So yeah, so. I probably might do a review of this game eventually if I've played through long enough then I might do a review even though probably the whole internet might have a review of it or maybe they don't because the game isn't exactly very sought after apparently even though it's a Mac game and it came it kind of released at the wrong period of time this was released alongside Astro Chain um, speaking of which Astro Chain I, I have not played it so um, I got the game on first day and I got the Japanese limited edition I wish I could reach it because it's it's being blocked by the gigantic boxes that I'm going to open oh god so yeah so the Japanese edition of the Damon X Machina game actually came with uh, the DLC code for um, special content so so pretty fantastic stuff so yeah we gotta keep this around carefully very very important stuff so let me just toss this packaging aside oh the room is so packed so the other thing i got that i actually ordered was mainly because of an uh, artist so um what is this uh say you say you paradise r so this issue so why i got it well for those macross fans who are following me on macross space time the culture you probably know why i got this magazine um, it it features <laughs> Nozomiru or rather uh, Nishida Nozomi the artist um, she voices Nak uh, uh, Makina uh, Nakaji Nakajima Ma Nakima no no yeah Nakajima Ma Makina so um, dang that's quite a tongue twister so yeah um, it features her inside with some pre playful photos so here's a preview a preview of the page there we go so just a bit of what is inside here i wish there was a photo that came with it but the photos inside this is very very lovely oh god she's so cute so <laughs> okay so there are other artists inside there but you know i i don't really know who they are they're all just young cute girls i guess but you know i i i don't know but I purposely got this magazine because I'm pretty big of a fan. Oh, oh, penguins. So, uh, <laughs> um, I, I, I think this was in the, um, what was that safari anime with animals? So I guess these are the seiyus, you know, so penguins are my favorite animal if you guys didn't know. So yeah. All right. So I basically got this just for Nozomi. Uh, so pretty happy even though it was how much was this again oh it's um, 1500 yen so it's not that expensive uh, considering that i was buying daemon x machina so to ship it in by itself is really not worth the money um but you know since the magazine was being released at the same time you know for nozomi yeah look at her so cute <laughs> okay so that's just my personal preferences on cute so okay so anyways um that aside that's pretty much done for amazon japan i think um there is still a gigantic box though um i think that one is the most anticipated one all right so stretching over to get another box um i have no idea what this is inside again once again i cannot remember oh god how am I going to clear my room after this? So messy. Ah, uh, okay. Let's do this. Here we go. Oh, okay. So, um, some of my friends on Facebook probably know that I really wanted to get this. Um, but I kind of missed the pre-order date because I was kind of broke. So I had to pay extra for this. Um, and this is another, I would say, idol group that I really was a fan of, you know, since my younger days. 
um, ever since they were young, but I really couldn't afford to support them because Japanese things weren't exactly accessible at that point of time during the 2000s and the you know 1980s, 1990s, that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, it's a very old idol group. Um, so let me just take them out. Okay. Ah. All right. So. And I got another thing that is Macross related, so yeah, you can tell how big of a Macross fan I am. Everything's Macross related, so yeah, and Nozomi is like a uh, voice actress for Machina from Macross Delta, so, uh, <laughs> so a lot of Macross related stuff. Alright, so before I pull out the really, let me just, maybe let me just take it out first so I can toss away this wrapping in box. Alright, first thing first, I got me an Icon! Finally, I have an icon. Oh god, it's it's so hard to find one of these, and it's huge. Okay, so eh. Mm. All right, I set icon free, and here he is. Oh, he's also squishy, squishy icon. His tail is so long. Oh my god. So fluffy. <laughs> it's so fluffy. Uh, and he's got that gigantic red jewel. It's it's pretty hard plastic, I guess. So pretty fantastic stuff. This is an official Ban Presto um, plush. Um, considering that Macross Frontier is already like so old, you know, it's in pretty good shape actually. So I don't know. I could. I have a new. I have a new friend on my room somewhere i have no space i could <laughs> sorry you're gonna have to sit on my bed for now all right so aside from i could well the main important thing from that box was basically this thing this gigantic squarish thing um okay so if you guys um are familiar with the japanese um idol scene i guess you can call them idols i don't know um in the past they were categorized as idols because well girls and fans i don't know i don't know how you would categorize them but um they they they, they feature more to electrical pop music so if you hear that you probably know what i'm talking about by now if you know um the scene of music artists that are all in groups in the past um, this belongs to perfume yeah so I'm a big fan of perfume um, not the you know the alcohol spray stuff but, you know, um, the group perfume so this was their anniversary album that had all the best songs in their years so this was finally my chance to support them you know, considering that I've been a fan of theirs for so long and I've, this is actually my very first item that I own that, be, that is from their group. Oh my god, you know, considering that I've been following them for years and I could not purchase anything for theirs back in the days and finally they decided to do an anniversary and oh, they've, they've grown up so much so there's this tiny box or so alongside it. I have no idea what this is. Let's, uh so yeah if you guys want to see an unboxing of the perfume box let me know down below as well or any of the stuff that i've shown if you want me to do an unboxing of uh, a personal unboxing video for all the stuff that i've opened up uh, let me know in the comments down below so oh god so much plastic so the thing about japanese and their packaging yeah it's good and all that but sometimes when you're gonna do things quickly, it gets annoying. <laughs> All right, so let's move this along. So um, you can tell it's a gigantic box with stuff. So this 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 whole shiny thing here, it's a book. It's a book. So this is a limited edition and you can tell all the soundtracks inside available in this whole thing. It's a, I think it's a four disc plus there's a Blu-ray and all that kind of stuff so yeah so for this three cds and one blu-ray 
All right, so I'm back. <laughs> Apparently we had some uh, issues with the camera, ran out of space because video quality apparently I don't know uh, so yeah I was saying that I'm a big fan of perfume and yeah I finally had to get this because it was the anniversary um, collection uh, which had a gigantic book included uh, this is only available if you purchased it off Amazon Japan and yeah so three CDs and a blu-ray disc fantastic fantastic stuff so let me uh, once again if you guys want to see a uh, you know, uh, individual or unboxing of all these items that I've got in this entire video. Let me know in the comments down below. So finally, we were moving on to the last box, which is the most important one personally for myself, um, because it has one of the items that I've been waiting for for quite some time. And it, if you're a Macross fan, definitely you would know what item it is because it's huge ass, just like this box. Um, so let's get down to opening it. Uh, okay, so... Oh, it's pretty well packed again. Alright, so as usual, Japanese products are really, really well packed. And if you guys are a Macross fan, uh, definitely look forward to the stuff that I've got to show you. If you're a Pretty Cure fan as well, uh, there's something in here that is a pre-cure item as well and that's pretty exciting as well for myself um, because it is definitely an item that is featuring my favorite pre-cure from the Haruto series if you guys know what I mean. Um, Alright, so let's move along with some of the items and there's this gigantic box which is belonging to the Macross item. Um, yeah, so this one definitely I will be doing an unboxing of it personally. Um, you know, because it's something that I've been very excited for to do an unboxing for. So, okay, I'm gonna move all this aside. So, if you guys can tell what this is uh, from just the logo alone, it says DX Chogokin. So, yes, it is a DX Chogokin, and it's something kind of new, kind of, because it's been released. Uh, about a month or so now, and uh, yes, I am. I, I am actually. I'm uh, opening up the seals and all that kind of stuff. So its cost value is definitely gone. But I'm not gonna sell it off because it's something that I've wanted to collect personally. And yes, it belongs to. Mm, here we go. Getting this out of its own shell. And yes, it is the armored part set for the yeah Valkyrie that belongs to Arat. So fantastic, fantastic stuff. So the box is huge. In fact, the armored set is actually bigger than the um, the Valkyrie itself. So, <laughs> all right. So let me put this aside because. Oh, I'm running out of space and I'm running out of time as well. So here's a small pack that came with the gigantic box. Uh, this is also with um, regards to Macross. So let's show you guys what I got. So it's you know small two item set. Uh, and it belongs to the recent, um, kind of recent uh, fashionable Macross. Um, the last one that they had belonged to Macross 7 and uh, Macross Frontier it was a collaboration but Basara was definitely the main feature so let me just toss this aside okay so here we go we have a ring a key holder that is for Cheryl Gnome this is it's, it's a lot bigger than I expected so and of course we have one for Ranka Lee as well. So this is the Macross Frontier set. I definitely had to get it because of Ranka's, um, you know, ring holder. So very nice. It says that uh, Super Dimension Cinderella for Ranka. Then of course the uh, Fairy of the Galaxy for Cheryl Gnome. So pretty nice. So Cheryl has the flower. Of course Ranka has a flower. Then Cheryl's logo is there with Ranka's uh, Osan Shosan. I don't know whether you can see it. Um, it's not that obvious I guess for Ranka so anyways yeah um, alright so the other thing that I got is actually the can badges for Ranka from the Macross uh, fashionable Macross event same event um, just that it's just can badges so oh my god plastics so much plastics 
Alright, so let's just shove this in. Then we've got bubble wrap. Ah, oh, fantastic that they are protecting their goods for their their customers and all this kind of thing. But it, yeah, once again, it can get annoying. Uh, oh god, how do you even open this up? <laughs> how do you even open this up? Oh god. I'm just gonna knife through this thing. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Alright, and there we go. So, this is the can batch for Ranka. There are two different variations. There's a chibi one, which is this one. So, I'm gonna quickly open this up. Alright, so much bubble wrap just for one can batch. That's just fantastic. Alright, here we go. So, here we go. This is the chibi version. The chibi version. So, you've got the adult size and the chibi version to go along. So, camera. There we go. Fantastic. Cute, adorable stuff. Alright, so getting all the wrappers out of the way. This is the last package in the gigantic box. This one also belongs uh, to Tamashi Nations. Okay, so it's the... As you can tell, usually all these items that are in this kind of boxes, um, you know, once they've been unopened, you know, like what I'm doing now, their monetary value drops kind of a bit. Um, but that's okay. I mean, uh, these are items that I do not personally want to sell off myself because they are items that definitely are memories for myself uh, regarding the series and of course they are my favorite characters so here we go from Haguto Precure my first ever Precure figuring um, from the SHF figures here we go hopefully you guys can see it Kyo Mache lovely so if you're wondering where is her partner yes her partner is coming to me sometime soon but she's not released yet so uh if you guys want to see an unboxing of this as well do let me know in the comments down below fantastic fantastic stuff so yeah it comes with her guitar as well pretty fantastic stuff so yes kyo, kyo mache is uh masheri if you want to pronounce it in japanese um she is my favorite pre-cure from the haguto series very very adorable girl uh and full of heart full of heart oh her box is actually shiny that like the character is outlined with some glossy material and you can see that some parts of her hair and hands are like shining off the lights from my camera <laughs> so yeah guys what do you guys think about all these awesome items that i got for myself if you guys personally are fans of the series like macross precure ghostbusters uh anything that i showed off uh if you guys have tried any of the games uh, or rather the only game that i got from this whole set here is actually damon x machina if you have played it yourself let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think of the game and of course what of what do you guys think of all the items? Uh, are you a fan of Mari Jima? Are you a fan of Precure, Ghostbusters, Macross, uh, Karakai, Takagi-san? Uh, all these fantastic, fantastic series that be really plays uh, a deep portion in my heart. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think um, personally and yeah. Leave a like to this video if you want to see more awesome monthly unboxings like this. And I'll see you guys soon. Um, for another unboxing video sometime soon. <laughs> uh, bye!